Howdy folks, this is Jake with the Banjo Ben General Store, and I've got a real cool little gadget to show you today. This is a Reagan fifth string capo, which is a nicely machined little block of brass with a nylon set screw and a little piece of felt. And um, some of you may wonder why you would need a fifth string capo specifically, and that's because if we look at the banjo here, uh, you can see that there are four full length strings that go all the way to the headstock, and then you've got this short one here the fifth string, which acts as your drone note. So if the need arises where you would have to capo um, the regular four strings, the fifth string is left unaltered. Which can create some funkiness. So what this does, how this works, is we just loosen this little set screw here. And the best way to use this is to go ahead and just stick it on the string right back here where you've got plenty of room. Fairly simple to do. And you just slide it up into position. And then we just hold it in place, tighten that little set screw down. And now all of a sudden, we're capoed. And so if I were to capo back here, you can see how that adequately compensates the fifth string. And these are real nice and real handy to have uh, for several reasons. And one of those is that you can use it anywhere, all the way up and down the fifth string, and you don't have to drill holes in your banjo. So some people like it for that reason alone. Um, but there are plenty of people who use fifth string spikes, which are these little tiny spikes that you drive into the fingerboard, and then you just slip the string under it. Um, but you can't really, it's not really practical to install those all over the neck. So these are real handy to have in addition to the spikes if you find yourself having to capo where you don't have a spike. Uh, another thing that's real handy is if you're a claw hammer player, uh, you're typically going to play farther up on the neck than a, a three finger style picker would. And that means this fifth string, if you spike it, it's actually lowered up in this area. It gets pulled down to the fingerboard a little more, makes it a little harder to get your thumb under it. So a lot of claw hammer players just absolutely love these as well for that reason, because it keeps the string up, you know, where it's supposed to be. It's easy to get a hold of it with the thumb. So I just thought I'd share that with you. These are really cool. They, they uh, don't make them anymore. We found a little batch of them. I think we got about 50 or 60. And so we bought them all up to be able to offer you guys because I think they're just the neatest things ever. And whenever you're not using them anymore, you just simply can stick them up behind the nut up here on the peg head, tighten that down for safekeeping. So anyway, that's about all I have to say about that. I appreciate you all watching, and if you have any questions about it, feel free to give us a call. And uh, until next time, may your calluses never flake. Thanks, y'all.